Hello everyone, in our last lesson we saw a quick tour of the Unity UI. This time around let's go and see how we can add a behavior to this game object right here called this cube. So right now if you click on the cube and say we want to move this cube upwards, if I click on this and drag this up, we can notice down here on the transform we can see that the Y axis values are actually changing. So if we actually go downwards, it gets to negative and if we raise it up, it gets to a positive value. So let's go ahead and see how we could use our script and change that. So let's just jump into our script and right here, let's look at that property. So first we have the transform. It's called transform on the transform on the inspector. So let's go over here and then we know that this is a game object. So right here within our script, let's type the keyword game object and dot let's just try type in transform and if we want to check out what we want to do with our transform we could try to translate our game object now the translate function if we look at here it right here it actually takes six overloads we could actually pass it a float x float x or x y or a float z so let's go ahead and try that so for the x axis i'm going to set it to a zero f for the Y axis, I'm going to set it to 0.5F and for the Z axis, I'm just going to set this to 0F and I'll just use a uh, colon to close our statement. So let's go ahead and save this and jump back to Unity and see what happens when we run this uh, script. So right here, I'm just going to click play. And we can see our cube moving way too fast. In fact, if I click on it right here, we can actually see that this cube's Y position keeps going up very fast. We don't want that. So let's go ahead and modify our script and see if we could uh, do that slowly for uh, each frame. And remember, I put this in the update, so it's going to be happening in each frame. So to actually smooth this out, we can multiply this value by time dot delta time just like that time to delta time will smooth out the uh, y-axis value such that it's going to be incrementing slowly so let's go ahead and save our project save our script and let's click on our cube so we can have our cube back and let's go ahead and just play this so we can actually see our cube going slowly per frame and we can actually go back to our scene and click on our cube. If we can zoom out, we can actually see our cube going up graciously and floating. So that's one way we can add scripts to modify game objects. Remember, everything is a game object. If I attach the same script to our uh, floor, so let's just go ahead and drag that same script and attach it to our floor. Now our floor has that same script. Let's just go ahead and play our scene and see what happens. So now we can see we have both the floor and the cube going up at that same frame. And basically we've made our uh, cube seem to go up like an elevator. So that's quickly how you can create a script and then can add motion to our game object. So you can actually imagine what you can do with Unity. By just using this script, we could add physics, we could make the cube grow, we could shrink the cube, we could do a lot of things. We can even add mouse clicks, but we'll be doing all that within the course. But just right now, just know that we can use the game object dot property name, which is the transform. We can translate, scale, and rotate. Right, so uh, yeah. If we wanted to try that for rotation, let's go ahead and quickly copy this and just drop it right here. And rather than use translate, let's go ahead and use a dot rotate. And then we'll pass in that same value for our Y axis. Let's go ahead and save our script and let's get back to Unity. And let's go ahead and play that. Now the same script is attached to the floor and that value. Now it's going to be rotating at Y and we can actually see that spin along the Y axis, but it's quite super slow. But if you actually look at it right here, we can see we're having that Y axis uh, tilt, right? So uh, thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.